Apple by the numbers. Let's take a look at 10 interesting numerical facts about Apple. The price of the very first Apple One computer was $666.66. Legend has it this is because co-founder Steve Wozniak liked repeating digits and the cost to build the original Apple was $500. So this was a one-third price markup. Adjusted for inflation this would be about $3,000 today. Apple actually had three founders. In addition to Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, Ronald Wayne also owned 10% of the new company. But he didn't hold on to it for long. He sold his share back to the two Steves for $2,300 to pursue his own interests. If he had held on to that 10% it would be worth $129 billion today making him one of the richest people in the world. The original Apple computer used a 6502 processor. It had the equivalent of about 4,500 transistors on the chip. By comparison today's 16 inch MacBook Pro can be configured with an i9 processor that has 7 billion transistors and the A13 processor on the iPhone 11 Pro is estimated to have about 8.5 billion transistors. Apple always likes to keep a lot of cash on hand. It's estimated that it has about $245 billion in the bank now. If you bought 100 shares of Apple when it first went public back in 1980 it would have cost you about $2,200. A modest investment. If you had held on to those 100 shares they would be worth $1.6 million in 2019. There actually have been three very different types of Mac computers. The original Mac computer used the Motorola 68000 processors. And in around 1994 Apple started to transition to PowerPC processors which lasted until 2006 when they switched to using Intel processors that are still currently used in Macs today. The iPod was a hugely successful product by any measure and it's estimated that during the span of the iPod it sold about 400 million. However the iPad also has sold about 400 million to date and it's still going. Apple retail stores have been a huge success since they first were introduced and currently there are more than 500 stores most of which are in the United States but the rest are spread across 23 different countries. Of all the computers Apple sells the MacBook far outsells all of the rest. MacBook, MacBook Pro and MacBook Air models are estimated to be about 80% of all MacBooks. If you look at Apple computer sales historically it's interesting to note that the iconic Apple II computer which was a huge success by every measure sold only 6 million in all of the years that it was produced. By comparison Macs have sold more than 250 million to date and Apple sold more than 2.2 billion iPhones so far. 